Now, it should come as no surprise that most women love their heels, but studies have found the foot fashion can lead to back and knee pain. However, you don't have to ditch your footwear to avoid that pain. These were kind of uncomfortable too, I guess, because like so many women, despite the pain, Cindy Gershom refuses to give up her high heels. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs. Usually, I just wear them. I deal with the pain. But according to podiatrist Elizabeth Scheiber, that can lead to a lot of problems: hammer toes, maybe a neuroma, bunion pain, blisters on your feet even osteoarthritis in the knees. A high heel lover herself, Dr. Scheiber came up with a plan for her patients. So I have uh, five minute shoes, 30 minute shoes and all day shoes. First, the five minute shoe to wear out to dinner when you plan to be sitting. You can see that my, my metatarsal is almost 90 degrees to the ground. It's as if you're walking on your knuckles. There's no fat pad supporting the ball of your foot. Then there's the 30 minute shoe. You can see that the heel is a little lower than this shoe. It's a little wider, not as much pressure on the ball of the foot. And last but not least, these are the all day shoes. It's got a stack heel, so you can wear this all day and look professional or look fun. Dr. Scheiber says the worst shoe to wear is flats. Your lower back's gonna be painful and your foot has to work harder to walk. Cindy admits she prefers her comfortable walking shoes, but she is happy she doesn't have to give up her high heels. For special occasions and going out to dinner, I truly think that heels are here to stay. <laughs> so another tip from Dr. Scheiber, after a lengthy night in heels, use a frozen water bottle and roll it along the ball of your foot for about 10 minutes. She says that works like an anti-inflammatory. She also says as we age, our feet get longer, so you have to get your foot resized. Uh, try that out next time you go shopping.